Hi guys and welcome to Riggs Garage. Tonight I'm going to help you make a decision whether you want to take your cylinder head to a machine shop or whether you just want to send it. Alright first I have a mystery head that I grabbed off of Facebook Marketplace. I could bolt it on and just send it down the road but I have chosen to take it to a machine shop and have everything reconditioned and I'm going to explain what that means in this video. First of all if you have the head off and you have a high mileage motor you might choose to do this if it's a car that you drive a lot or that you care about or if you're going to be beating on it really hard. If the car smokes on startup, the smoke goes away, uh, you probably have bad valve seals and part of the reconditioning process is adding valve seals. If you have low compression or something like that and it appears to be a valve, you probably want to check other videos on how to diagnose that, but if you have bad valves, that's a good time to have it reconditioned. Additionally, if you're blowing head gaskets, there's a good chance that the uh, that the surface of the head is probably not very flat. If the car's been overheating and things like that, in addition to that head gasket failure, there's probably a good chance that the head is warped and it will need to be resurfaced, which is also part of the reconditioning process. In general, it's good practice on a high mileage engine that you have a part to have this done. So let's have a look at that. I appreciate everybody watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We have all sorts of hot rod things going on here, and right now I'm just putting my daily driver back together, so I figured I'd make a video to help somebody out. Thank you. Okay, so what the machine shop did is they took the head, they tore it apart, they hot tanked it, which is basically a hot tank of chemical solution that boils all of the junk off of the whole head, and then they did a valve job. So the valve job is where they take all the valves out, they're gonna seat all the valves, make sure they are beautiful. Then the next thing they did is they checked the whole thing for cracks. Um, I don't know if they use magnafluxing for aluminum, but magnafluxing is a typical crack check process at the machine shop. Then they put this on the machine and they um, machine this surface perfectly flat, so I know I'm not gonna have head gasket issues unless I do something really stupid. There were also two valves in this head that needed to be replaced. So they ordered those and replaced them. All valves are taken care of. Next they put in new valve seals. You can't see them, but they're behind the spring. Uh, that's so I'm not gonna be leaking oil into the combustion chamber. Today I'm gonna be putting a new camshaft seal on and showing you a couple other parts that I got. So that's pretty much what you can expect um, taking a head to the machine shop. You know, valve seals, all valves will be ground, valve seats are checked, sealing is gonna be good. They're gonna machine the deck surface, the deck mating surface of the head, and um, make sure everything's super clean so you can just put it back on. Also, a good practice is I went over all the nuts with a wrench to make sure they are all snug and tight. Um, I don't know the torque specs, but these are definitely Riggs Garage torqued good enough. The last thing I want to do is just make sure this thing is super clean. You never know if like a mouse crawled in this intake port and carried a nice shiny nut with him. So I'm going to go ahead and blow it out with some air. 